they were like, you gotta, we got these like 47 dates and uh, events and uh, we need you to organize them in like uh, 13 minutes. <laughs> what are you gonna do? You're gonna watch this video and learn how to create a SharePoint list from a calendar. Let's get it rolling. I'm a SharePoint expert, play with data extra. Careful with my hands, cause I gotta use them forward. All right, first thing you're gonna do is gonna go to the home page, you're gonna hit that new drop down and burn off that brand new listy list. And you're gonna be like, uh, create form, uh, list form, create, oh, calendar, boom, calendar, let's rock it. And we're gonna call it, mm, I don't know, list calendar. Yeah, baby. We're gonna show it in the nav, yeah. And we're gonna just pop that puppy off and basically you're done. You're done, you just did it. All you gotta do is go pop in your dates and boom, you got it. You did it. All right, so let's breathe for a moment. Let's peel back the covers and talk about what's really going on here. Okay, first and foremost, uh, if you haven't already noticed, there is a new interface for creating lists. Okay, it is just leaps and bounds different from the old school way. And it just came out of nowhere, it seemed, but it's here and it's delicious okay so anyway you can create a new SharePoint list from just blank like always um, here why don't we go ahead and show it to you okay why don't we just show you what we're talking about we're gonna go to the home page and we're gonna fire off that new that new new okay oh by the way we just hit 4,000 subscribers I know that's out of nowhere I was supposed to do it earlier but I totally forgot we just hit 4,000 subscribers, and it's all because of you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. If you haven't already subscribed, please click that subscribe and the bell notification so you can know when new content is available. All right, now we're going to hit that new, new with that new list. So new list, like this used to say blank. I swear to goodness, like the UI changes, I swear, are coming at like breakneck speed. In the comments, I want you to type in if you feel like the visual updates are just too flippin' fast. Okay, I digress. Uh, so this would be a blank, just like tr traditional, what you're used to. You're going to get like a single column. It's going to be title. And then you're going to have to create your other columns. All right, boom. Create it from a form. This is going to create it from that new style form. You know, it... it uh, resembles Microsoft Forms, but it's in SharePoint and you fire this off, you can build the form and it will create columns for each field you add. And that list again gets created automatically in the background. All right, cool. And we have gallery. We have a video. We, we have a video on form. We have a video on gallery. And this one is on the calendar. And you can see a theme here. Basically, um, the gallery is just creating a list that is based off of a gallery view typically based for stuff like images. And now we're talking about the calendar. So if you wanna keep track of dates and stuff that goes along with those dates, like a description, a category, you can create a calendar view and a list. There is a gotcha here, and this is a huge gotcha. If you plan on trying to see these calendar events from this SharePoint list, in the events web part, forget about it. It's not happening. So know that going into this, this does not play nicely with the event web part because event web parts work with SharePoint event lists, not list lists. There's like three major types of lists in SharePoint. There's document library for tracking files, list for tracking data and events for actually really truly tracking calendar events and having them show up in the event web part. Now let me just show you what I'm talking about here a little bit. So if we go to site contents, we can look and we can see all the containers. These are document libraries. Yes, it doesn't say list, but it's it's a list that tracks files, okay? Uh, and then we have a list list, like just straight up list. It's just data that's being tracked, it's textual characters. But if you scrolly scroll, scroll, look at this events list. This is the old school SharePoint calendar. It is, it behaves differently than a standard list and or a custom list, or whatever you want to call. The key point is if you want items to show up in the event web part, they have to be 
of the content or of the container type events list. All right, I'm going to digress. feel like I have run that into the ground. Okay, so back to our new, our new, new here. We talked about calendar. So you can create a, a list from a calendar. That's what we just did. So uh, we can do another one here. Okay, we hit calendar. I, I put list in here to remind you that this is a list list, not an event list. Okay, there we go. So now basically this creates your list. Let's show you how to like go ahead and populate this puppy. So you're just going to click in here. You're going to say title. You're going to say wow event. And there's basically two columns. You have a start column and an end column. And they both. So you just put your stuff in. You can throw an attachment in if you want. You don't get any other columns. So we're going to save this. And there it is. Like so. Basically, if you've got an existing list, you can generate a calendar view for that list. This just sort of starts with the calendar view as a default and then gives you the list in the background. Um, if you wanted to add additional columns, you could do that. Probably the easiest way would be to switch over to the all items view. That will show all of your events um, stacked on top of each other um, row by row. And you can go in here and just fire off new columns, maybe you want a description column, et cetera, et cetera. You get the idea. So the long and short of it is now, if you want to track events and you don't care about them showing up in the event web part, you can do that by starting off with a brand new calendar and it will create the SharePoint list in the background, in the background for you. All right, with that, do the very best you can with what you got. Remember, SharePoint rocks, and so do you. We'll see you next time. I'm a SharePoint expert. Play with data extra. Careful with my hands, because I got to use them for work. Yeah, I'm a big old nerd. I like maple syrup. All my pancakes, I don't care what you heard.